In this video on Zotero 7, we'll look at setting up an online Zotero account, installing Zotero onto your PC or laptop. We'll look at backing up your work to your online Zotero profile. And we'll also look at installing your referencing style of choice so that you will be able to use it in your Word document, in your academic writing. We're going to look at setting up an online account first. Do not skip this step. If you skip the step and if you lose access to your PC or laptop, you could lose everything. However, if you do do the step, you back up your research and you will never lose your work again. So make sure you don't skip this step. So now we are going to go back to Zotero.org. Just click on login here at the top of the screen. And from here, I'd like you then to register for a free account. Don't overthink the name too much here. It doesn't really matter, something simple. But if you do forget it, you can always use your email as your username in the future as well. So once you go through all these steps here, it's fairly simple and straightforward. You'll be sent a link. Just open your email to activate your account. So just as we're going into the install stage, I just want to make the point that I'm using a MacBook. Principles are very similar to Windows and Mac, and if there's any differences, I'll point them out as we go. So we're going to go back to Zotero.org and click on the download button here. I just want to make the point here that your browser will know if you're using a Mac or a Windows device, or if you're what browser you're using. In this case, we're using Chrome. So let's go ahead and download Zotero to our computer. And while that's happening, we're going to install the Chrome connector. Just click on the Add Zotero extension here. So when we've done that, you might have a lot of extensions in your browser already. So I'm going to give you a little tip. If you come down and click on the pin button, that means it's going to be up here for you to be able to find easily later. So now our Zotero library should be in our download folder and ready to install. Now I already had a version of this on my computer, so I'm just selecting replace rather than just install. If you're using a Windows PC or laptop, it will probably open the folder automatically for you. So now we're going to look at backing up your Zotero library on your device to your online account that we set up earlier. You'll only need it this once, it'll continue working in the background. Just remember to do it with any install and any computer you're working on. So, if you have used Zotero before, you might notice that Zotero 7 has quite a similar interface. Just things might be in a slightly different place in the screen than you're used to. So in this demonstration, we're using a Mac. So go to the Zotero menu and choose Settings. And we're going to go to Sync. And you're just going to enter in the same details that you had when we set up our account earlier on. If you're working in Windows computer, um, all you would do is go to the edit menu at the top of the screen and scroll down to settings there, and you're going to access the same menu here. So now we're going to look at installing referencing styles. Zotero is great uh, with working with Word seamlessly to allow you to cite in whatever referencing style that your faculty is looking for. So to install referencing styles, we are going to go up to our Zotero menu again and come back down to settings. And here we're going to go into the cite section and you'll notice there's a lot of pre-installed referencing styles here, including the Griffith College Harvard referencing style. But we're going to click on get additional styles and we're going to search for one that wasn't there. In this case, we're going to look for Oscola, which is the legal referencing style. If you just click on it, it'll appear in your list here with everything else. So that is pretty much it for this video. I just thought it might be useful to show you how you might tie some of these elements together when it comes to writing in Word and using Zotero. So Zotero is automatically installed into Word. This isn't really a demonstration as such. I just want to give you an idea about um, how handy it can be that when you use Zotero for in-text citations for books or articles or um, online reports, how easy it is to generate bibliography there. So that's it for this uh, initial tutorial. 
And um, the good news is you're really not going to have to do most of these steps ever again. They're really just what you do when you're setting up Zotero on your own devices. So what I would do is, is I would invite you to take a look at our other videos um, as they become available. They'll be shorter, they'll be more focused on very specific topics such as working with Zotero, to import research into your Zotero library, take notes as you go, um, and also troubleshooting how to tidy up your Zotero library and create new records and, and edit records that you have.